Hi, my name is Corey Nordine, and I'm entering my second year of seminary at Garrett. I grew up and currently live in a small, predominantly white town in rural Illinois. You know the kind, where almost everybody knows almost everybody. Um, going to a small church while being what felt like the only member of the LGBTQ plus community in a 10 mile radius was an experience all on its own. So coming from that background, Garrett has taught me a lot. Um, the first thing that Garrett has taught me is diversity and that it feels weird to say that but what I mean is that the student body and even the staff is very diverse uh, and what hit home the most was seeing members of the LGBTQ plus community on staff teaching courses. I felt like there was already a place and a space for me to fit in and do ministry. And this has influenced my ministry by being more conscious of those around me um, as well as helping to create more spaces for um, people to feel accepted and involved in ministry, uh, particularly the LGBTQ plus community in the rural church. Um, the second thing that I think I've learned a lot about at Garrett is how to be vocal, especially about issues of social justice. Um, the students and staff at Garrett really encourage others to be vocal. Um, professors bringing in real life examples of how scripture is used and misused, um, as well as just talking about how society and scripture interact, uh, especially in contemporary usage. Um, in my Hebrew Bible course with Dr. Cheryl Anderson, we often talked about different ways that um, scripture is used and how uh, people can feel excluded or feel just hurt by that kind of usage um, and that kind of irresponsible usage. So it made me very conscious of how often we use scripture irresponsibly in uh, contemporary arguments within our society today. Um, so that in, in combination with helping people feel included and helping create spaces for people are really two big things that Garrett have taught me. I've learned so much more than just those two, but um, those are really two things that stick out with me and that I am excited to use uh, within the rest of my ministry. Um, so thanks for listening.